सी आई ई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास फोर हेलो चिल्ड्रन आई एम योर फ्रेंड वरदा आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक टू यू फॉर अ लिटिल वाइल टूडे मे आई आई बी टॉकिंग टू यू इन इंग्लिश आई डू होप यू विल लिसन टू मी केयरफुली एंड यू विल सर्टनली अंडरस्टैंड all that i say but before i begin let's read and recite the poem wake up wake up wake up it's a lovely day please get up oh please get up and come and play wake up wake up it's a lovely day Please get up oh please get up and come and play the birds are singing in the trees and you can hear the buzzing bees the birds are singing in the trees and you can hear the buzzing bees wake up wake up wake up it's a lovely Please get up and come and play. Wake up. Wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up. Oh please get up and come and play. Wake up. Wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up. Oh please get up. And come and play. It's much too late to lie in bed. So hurry up, you sleepy head. It's much too late to lie in bed. So hurry up, you sleepy head. Wake up. Wake up. It's a lovely day. Lovely. Little sleepy head wake up Wash and dress and come on out Everyone is up and about The cow the horses the ducks and the sheep the tiniest chicken cheep 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 Wake up wake up wake up Wake up Wake up It's a lovely day please get up oh please get up and come and play wake up wake up It's a lovely day lovely please get up oh please get up and come and play we are having so much fun yeah. someone is calling out to the child to wake up and come out to come out and play and be with his or her friends who could this be who do you think it is could it be the wind rustling the leaves in the trees and carrying the birds up high could it be the cloud looking at the earth below and calling out to the child to come out and play is it the sun already up in the sky and who wants the child to be up to there's one line i really love in this poem everyone is up and about when i first read this poem i did not know the meaning of up and about of course i knew the meaning of up you know somewhere high or above my head and i knew the meaning of about which means near or off for instance i know that i would say i want to know more about bihu or pongal the festivals 
but these words up and about they mean something else everyone is up and about which means they are all awake and have got up and are already quite active the poem says it's a lovely day when you say lovely what does it mean yes it means nice it means beautiful but what do you think is a lovely day blue sky bright sunshine perhaps yes everyone would enjoy that yet other days can be lovely too i remember a grey morning i was in arunachal pradesh at that time it had rained heavily during the night and as i sat in the balcony overlooking the road below all i could see was grey clouds grey sky grey roads and grey tin roofed houses and suddenly a burst of red a child came out on the road wearing a bright red raincoat that moment changed everything i realized that i could see a faint rainbow in the sky with so many beautiful colors i could see the wet green leaves of trees and oh i could smell the wonderful fragrance of rain think also of a cold winter morning the happiness of having a hot cup of tea when it is still dark in the morning so you see every day is lovely and every day should be welcomed with a smile let us try doing a fun activity on sunday or on a day when you don't have school and you become awake on your own don't get up at once keep your eyes closed and listen and i mean really listen what can you hear let every sound reach you you can hear the whirring sound made by the fan perhaps you can hear the birds who wake up so early you can hear the wind outside maybe you can hear someone in the kitchen the sound of the gas lighter or the matches the tinkling of tea cups as your father or mother heat milk or make tea you may hear the traffic on the road outside you may hear the news coming from your neighbor's radio and if you live near the sea oh you will hear the water in all its different moods in the poem there seem to be many animals and birds all of them up and about in the morning the cow the horses the ducks and even the tiniest chick seem to be very busy it must be a farm or a village home because all these are domestic animals you know domestic animals those that human beings keep and take care of animals such as dogs or cats cows camels horses sheep and goats in my hometown in karnataka we have a lot of buffaloes a buffalo is like a cow it gives us milk it is dark gray or black in color and it has huge horns on its head in the northeast we generally find an animal called mithun yes and when these animals see the child still asleep in bed they call out to him wake up sleepy head a sleepy head is a person who goes on sleeping long after everyone has got up so the next time you see someone getting up quite late 
sitting up in bed and rubbing their eyes you can say smilingly to them hello sleepy head good morning how do you say good morning in your mother tongue some people say suprabhat in my hometown we say shubodaya so say good morning in your mother tongue and yes do smile when you say it let's listen to the poem again and then we'll talk some more everybody wake up it's such a lovely day come on come on we have to go out and play come on let us hear the recitation of this poem which is called wake up wake up wake up it's a lovely day oh please get up and come and play the birds are singing in the trees and you can hear the buzzing bees wake up wake up it's a lovely day oh please get up and come and play it's much too late to lie in bed so hurry up you sleepy head wash and dress and come on out everyone is up and about the cow the horses the ducks and the sheep the tiniest chicken cheep 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 wake up yes everybody wake up and now listen to our young friend recite the same poem wake up wake up it's a lovely day oh please get up and come and play the birds are singing in the trees and you can hear the buzzing bees wake up wake up it's a lovely day oh please get up and come and play it's much too late to lie in bed so hurry up you sleepy head wash and dress and come on out everyone is up and about the cow the horses the ducks and the sheep the tiniest chicken cheep 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 wake up hello and i'm back again do you remember the poem in your class 3 marigold textbook the one where two birds are talking to each other the title of the poem is do you remember can you try and remember the poem began with the word think yes it was bird talk and the poem was think said the which bird was it think said the robin yes very good think said the jay so the robin and the jay were friends different birds but friends and they talk to each other about human beings about people and how funny they are people are so funny they said they are so peculiar they don't eat beetles they don't grow wings they don't sit on trees wires or things so imagine now that you are a bird and your friend is a bee it's early morning and you're both out you peep through a window and you see a child still asleep what do you say to your friend the bee and what does the bee answer plan a dialogue in your mother tongue perhaps or in english or a mix of the two and act it out your brothers and sisters and parents will be so surprised and happy there are two words in this poem 
that I would like you to pay some special attention to. Let's focus on bird. How do you spell bird? That's easy. B I R D. And how do you say it? You say bird. The r sound is not heard. Listen carefully again. Bird. So this was the first word. First, yes, first. How do you spell first? F I R S T. Again, have you noticed the r sound is not heard. You say first. The r sound as I said is not heard. Can you spell heard? H yes continue H E A R D Again in this the r sound is not heard So the first word i heard is bird repeat after me The first word i heard is bird Say it again slowly the first word i heard is bird very good now let's focus on the word sheep it begins with the sh sound and this is different from the s sound do you notice the difference sh and s so children repeat after me sheep 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 ship sip ship sip sheet seat sheet seat shot sort shot sort So it doesn't really matter if you don't know the meanings of all these words we are only practicing the sounds let's continue sheen seen sheen seen shin sin shin sin shack sack shack sack shawl soul shawl soul shock sock shock sock shoot suit shoot suit shore sore shore sore now children at the end of the poem you have seen that the tiniest chick says cheep 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 so the chick cheeps what about the other animals the cow what sound does the cow make yes you are right the cow says moo So the cow moos. The cow moos. M O O S. The cow moos. And what about the horse? The horse neighs. The horse neighs. N E I G H S. The horse neighs. And the duck quacks. Quack quack quack. The duck quacks. Q U A C K S In English after the letter Q the letter U always follows Have you noticed that Think of the word queen Yes Q U E E N And what about uh, the pig the pig squeals the pig squeals 
That was fun to say, wasn't it? Let's do another fun activity. Repeat after me. Betty. Betty is the name of a girl. Betty bought some butter. Betty bought some butter. Say that again. Betty bought some butter. Now instead of some, I am going to say a bit of. Betty bought a bit of butter. Try. Betty bought a bit of butter. Now let's reverse the sentence. A bit of butter Betty bought. Now we are going to say both sentences together. Betty bought a bit of butter. A bit of butter Betty bought. That will take some practice. But you will amaze your parents when you say this. Betty bought a bit of butter. A bit of butter Betty bought. Now let's listen to the third line. But the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. Really mind blowing, isn't it? But the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. If you think of the meaning, you will find it easier to say. Let's say it again. Betty bought a bit of butter. A bit of butter Betty bought. But the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. So, what did she do? Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. Can you try it again? Betty bought a bit of butter. A bit of butter Betty bought. But the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. Oh my goodness, I had a hard time saying that. I hope you will practice and say it much better than I did. A shorter but an equally fun activity is this. You must have seen a lorry on the road. You know, those huge trucks which carry furniture and cars. Yes, so that is a lorry. I want you to imagine two lorries on the highway. One is painted red and one is painted blue. So, we have a red lorry and a blue lorry. Got it? A red lorry and a blue lorry. Now say these two together. Red lorry, blue lorry. Red lorry, blue lorry. Can you say it faster? And can you say it five times without stopping? Let's try. Red lorry, blue lorry. Red lorry, blue lorry. Red lorry, blue lorry. Red lorry, blue lorry. Continue saying that and continue having fun. And remember, welcome each day with a smile. Bye children. Hey, why don't you sing out this poem on your own? Ready? Go on. The music is being played just for you.
सो फ्रेंड्स यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू द सीरीज ध्वनि शाला प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंस मीनाक्षी कुकरेती एंड तनु गुप्ता रिकॉर्डेड बाय शानु मुक्सीम एंड विकास सांगवान प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अजीत होरो दिस प्रोग्राम इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेल्ही इंडिया